if you smell what the foam is cooking. Hello and welcome to the workshop, the new workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, new to the new workshop, new, same channel, new space. Yeah. Uh, feel free to subscribe. We upload a lot of sneaker videos. Look, you can see sneakers behind me. All right. We're big sneaker guys around here. We we like sneakers a lot. Buckets, how often do we upload a new video? Almost every single day. Almost every single day. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Mr. Fomer Simpson. Last thing I want to mention before we dive into the sneakers is the hoodie that I'm currently wearing. It is the uncivilized Toy Story hoodie inspired by the holidays buckets. The holiday season, a little bit of our own spin on it. Big time. Buckets, who is behind the camera, myself, we have a clothing brand. This is our latest release. There are very few hoodies left, so uncivilizedstore.com. We will put a link in the description of this video for your convenience. And with that said, Buckets, the magic man. We diving in or what? We're diving in. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Nike SB Dunk Low Sandy Bowdecker. These released very recently and retail was 130 bucks. Out. They did sell out instantly. I guess that was probably expected. Swing and a miss for me. I tried to get a pair. I was not able to. Fortunately, I was able to grab this pair from a local sneaker resale shop down here in the Tampa area. Kicks are for us. You probably hear us mention them a lot. So shouts to them, definitely appreciate them. The story behind this colorway, behind this pair is pretty unique. Back in 2003, there were the infamous eBay dunks. One pair was auctioned off for charity, like 30 grand I think they went for, and that money went towards building new skate parks. Then supposedly there was a second pair of buckets, maybe it was like a sample, and they cut those up to protect the value of that auctioned pair. I was looking for something better. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Okay, like a supply and demand, microeconomics, macroeconomics. Exactly, that wasn't rhetoric. So they chopped them up, fast forward, nobody knew who won that auction pair, and then supposedly, it was, supposedly, it was none other than Sandy Bodecker himself, the Bodecker wrecker. The man, the myth, the legend. Exactly, rest in peace, an absolute legend. If you're not familiar with the guy, I definitely recommend reading up on him. He did a ton for Nike SB, Nike SB and him, same initials. And that's the way the universe wanted it because Sandy Bodecker, skateboarding, Nike SB, all synonymous almost. He was the heartbeat of Nike SB. Would you say he's inextricable? Inextricable, don't know what that means. Cannot be taken out of. Yes. Yes, and even now, he's gone in the physical, still inextricable. Okay. Look, he's gone and, and we still have this sneaker. He lives on. There we go. Rest in peace, the dude was an absolute legend. So that's the backstory on these. And you can see right away, they paid homage by dissecting the upper here. You still have those bright eBay colors, yellow, blue, red, green and this clear plastic kind of bonds it all, fuses it all together while still giving you that look of it being dissected, sawed into four different sections. You got some different materials as well, patent leather wrapping around the toe. Smooth white leather on the toe box. Mid panels and wrapping around the ankle here. 
more patent leather on the eye stays and wrapping around the heel. You've got a mesh tongue with the Sandy Bodecker initials, Nike swoosh, hashtag Nike SB forever. I do love this slime green color and you see it on the ankle liner as well. Not sure how these colors really go together, but I do love that green. You've got SB initials on the heel with that nice blue swoosh embroidered in. Crispy white midsole. Again, you can see where they split the sneaker up. It is red and translucent and it alternates back and forth. This sneaker was really well done in my opinion. It's actually not a sneaker I really wanna wear because it does feel more like an art piece if I'm being honest. You know, the eBay color scheme in general, it doesn't totally do it for me. It's almost like, I don't know, but it's like a, like a nursery almost or like an elementary school uh, textbook or something. Yeah, it's very colorful. Yeah, very colorful, which ah, not necessarily opposed to. I just don't necessarily like this colorway. I do love the backstory and that's what really draws me to these, but they do feel more like a piece than something that I wanna lace up and wear. And in that regard, really, really dope and very, very good execution. You know, if someone was not familiar, for example, Buckets, if someone didn't know who Sandy Bodecker was or wasn't familiar with the 2003 eBay pair, that whole thing, if none of that resonated, you might look at these and be like, ah, man, that's an ugly sneaker. Do you agree? I do agree. Okay. But not that, that someone could say that. Yeah, someone could say that. You're not necessarily saying that. I'm not saying it yet. Okay, fair enough. You play it close to the vest, you wait till the end. I respect it. Yeah. Something else, and this is just a general comment that I'm kind of torn on, is the clear plastic on sneakers thing. Just wearability-wise, Buckets, we've talked about it before. I mean, I much prefer like the Off-White 5 or even the Nike Element 87, where it's a little bit more subtle, a little bit more toned down than just that straight see-through like you get on the Nike Air Force One that has the see-through whole front three quarters of it or Nike Clot or the Supreme Air Maxes that you like. When it's straight see-through, somebody can see a little piece of lint on your sock. I'm just saying, it gets a little, you know, people get all up in your business. I don't want people to be able to see, see the lint on my socks. Not that they do have lint on them, I'm just, you know, but you know. Well, that's the secret is don't have lint on them. So just have the super fresh, take fresh out the pack. Yeah. Yeah. You can only wear these with brand new socks. I feel like, no, yeah, for sure, definitely. I feel like with the straight, straight see-through, I just, I can appreciate how they look. Like those Clot Air Maxes are super dope, but it's not a pair that I want to wear. Okay. It's a me thing, I think. I think it's a me thing. I'm still gonna give these, hmm, I'm still gonna give these an eight out of 10. The, because I'm kind of splitting the difference there. The backstory, Sandy Bojacker, the whole deal, 10 out of 10. The actual wearability for me, probably more like a five or a six, so I'm kind of splitting the difference there. Okay. I think a sneaker like this might be pretty polarizing just aesthetically. I don't think anybody's gonna be mad at them paying homage, but just the colorway, the aesthetics, I think, you know, it's such a loud sneaker. It's always kind of, you get people who love them and hate them. I'm not mad at either. And listen, we gotta normalize that. Normalize disagreeing about which sneakers look good or what sneakers you wanna wear. All right, it's called individuality. Nothing wrong with that. Bucket, scale of one to 10, you've played it close to the vest. Give me all you got. Give me all you got. Uh, I'm gonna go seven. Seven out of 10. All right, give us your spiel. I also think it's, I think it's a collector's piece. That's what I'm saying. More so than a you sneaker. You put it on a shelf back here. Yeah, yeah. Back there, it looks great. On foot, it looks pretty spicy. Here's one thing that I will say, all right? Because I'm not gonna walk it all the way back. But when I saw pictures of them, I was like, cause you know, I struck out on them as I mentioned. Added in a tear trickling from me face. I saw pictures, I was like, ah, I don't know about those. In hand, they are, they do feel a little bit more wearable, but still I'm sticking to my guns. Yeah, so here's what I'm gonna say. Okay. So I, was wearing the the Air Max 96, those Camo Supremes. Yep, you like them. That had the see-through panels just like this. Yep, we mentioned them. And uh, they were getting sweated up. Like it was getting foggy because the foot is sweating. See, my foot doesn't really sweat. I think that you think that, but I think that you're incorrect. No, it doesn't. It's a known fact. We've no. already we've already established this. No. 
you're saying it got a little too humid. Yeah, the I'm humidity saying I, I, need, I needed like a windshield wiper on that sucker. I needed a defrost. Okay. So I Maybe think, a little AC. You got to poke a couple holes in them. Yeah, something. And what I will say about these is that if I was going to wear them, I might just go barefoot like Don't a real scumbag. Do, do you know how bad... You just said it gets too humid in there. Do you know what your barefoot in this sneaker would do? Number one, disrespectful to Sandy. No, that's, no, not disrespectful to Sandy because the insole is his foot, I think, in the chopped up pair and it's barefoot. Oh, I forgot to mention that. That was a detail I, I, that I forgot to mention. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. Right. Teamwork makes the dream work. Got you, dog. All right. You got anything else to add? Uh, No. All right. Solid. Yeah. Solid review. Leave a comment below. Let us know how do you feel about these? What are your thoughts, feelings, emotions? Whatever's on your mind, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here. The workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Studio tour coming soon. This new space that we're in, we're going to do a whole tour. You know, the whole shebang. That's it. All in a day's work. Adios.